Now, this is one of those comments that I really had to address, and it comes from uh, another comment where a lady said that she had a friend who drinks eight to 10 beers every day, and she wanted to know if that was a problem. And obviously, it's certainly the foundation of alcohol use disorder and definitely a problem physically, emotion emotionally, and chemically. Now, this particular comment is response to this. I'm not 100% sure he's not joking around because it's just beyond belief, but uh, that's nothing. I drink over 24 beers daily, okay? Record is 42 beers in 12 hours, okay? Well, you know, I don't know if this is supposed to be some form of a flex, but unfortunately, if you did anything anywhere in that range, you'd not only have a serious problem, you have a life-threatening issue uh, in your life. So, Let's delve into this a little bit deeper, understanding what flexing uh, alcohol use disorder is really all about. And really, when, when someone makes a flex like this, like I can drink 42 beers in 12 hours, I mean, it's not only it shows an incredible lack of immaturity, because, I mean, I mean it's, this gentleman looks like he's middle-aged. I'm not really sure where it's coming from. It may be a joke. But in any case, uh, I would say the marketing, the people who market alcohol, wine, spirits have done their job because it's somehow perceived as uh, a masculine thing. Like you're, you're masculine if you can hold your liquor. They've created this environment or maybe society has created it in conjunction with the marketers. I don't know. Either way, uh, drinking, putting poison down your body in mass amounts is not only stupid, it's incredibly dangerous and life-threatening. Uh, I mean, that, that kind of volume in your bloodstream can give you a heart attack, a stroke, you can have convulsions, you can, like many rock stars I'm sure you're aware of, have choked on their own vomit when it all comes back up. As, dis as ugly as that is, it's a reality for many people. This is why we always find people drowning in their pools or falling down, hitting their heads. The alcohol doesn't kill them, but the actions of drowning or falling or some other malady like getting behind the wheel of a car and killing themselves and killing other people. It's a horrible, immature way to approach this problem. And to be honest, this kind of flex really shows the ignorance uh, in the, that permeates in society, the ignorance of alcoholism because it's been sold to us since we were children. You know, the belief that when I grow up, I can drink and it's all part of adulthood even, uh, where in fact it's not. You know, on that note, you know, the vast majority of people who drink will not become alcoholic. But if you're drinking in any kind of consistent volume or insane volumes like this gentleman, or propose that you're drinking this kind of volume, it's, it's life-threatening and it's also dreadful for the people in your life, for the relationships in your life, if you have any left. No one wants to be around somebody who's in the grips of this type of alcoholism. And I think if this resonates with you, please like, share, and comment because I know a lot of people have to deal with this type of mentality in their life. And it's an uphill battle, it's denial, it's deflection, and it's delusional. And again, I go live uh, Monday through Friday on this channel uh, at uh, 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we also have the Facebook group. It's called There's an Alcoholic in the Family. Again, links for these are in the bio. And then when you're ready to work with me one-on-one -on -one, uh, for a breakthrough call, schedule a breakthrough call. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour. We do a deep dive into what's going on with you and your family. We go over the coaching program and see, you know, I, I really want to take people on who want to change their life forever and the life of their family. The call is free, the coaching program not so much. And again, thanks for listening.